Affairs correspondent Paula Reed is here tracking all of this. I mean, it's amazing. We're, we're halfway through March just seeing the investigation. Yeah, exactly. And who's left, right? When you get down to the guy who serves the burgers at Mar-a-Lago, who else are you going to talk to? Of course, we got the answer to that yesterday when we saw one of his closest advisors, a former communications official at the White House, head into the grand jury. But what you see here is they want to talk to everybody. His attorneys, his advisors, the groundskeeper at Mar-a-Lago. And why? We you know uh, Walt Nada, another aide, moved some boxes. They want to know who told you to move them. Where did they go? So it's clear they're turning over every stone. And now, who told you to move them could be a exactly. very key question. Big, big question. Who told you to move them? When? Why? What was in them? Where did they go? A lot of questions for these folks. And you know, some people in, in the former president's world argue, like, this is ridiculous. You're talking to the guy who flips burgers. But how do we know it's ridiculous? There's no standard here. We've never had a former president who lived at a resort. Exactly. Yeah. And we never really, to my knowledge, had we did, it. Exactly. <laughs> right on. Can we talk about the special counsel, Jack Smith? He has been trying to get testimony uh, from the Trump attorney, Evan Corcoran, since the very beginning. Is he any closer to making that happen? It's possible. This attorney, Evan Corcoran, he has already gone before the grand jury, but he declined to answer questions about his conversations with to perpetrate a crime. So we should be able to ask him these questions. And the judge, who has been overseeing a lot of these big questions from the special counsel investigation and that grand jury, she leaves the bench at about 5 o'clock today. She ages on to a different role in the system. So she has until 5 o'clock today to make this ruling. Caitlin and I, we will be on our wow. phones, up the grills of every Trump attorney trying to figure out when this decision comes down. Because it's, it's not public either. It's under seal. I'm thinking it's, she's handing this all over to another chief judge who's walking into this, and this is all going to be on his plate now. Yes, good luck to him. And it's really interesting because, as you know, some of the people in Trump world uh, believe that this judge, Judge Howell, that she's been too favorable to the special counsel. And there's going to be a new sheriff in town. But if you read, if you read actually his jurisprudence, his opinions, I'm not sure how that's actually going to play out. So it's going to be fascinating to watch. Right. Well. Paul Reed, thank you. And we'll be watching for those alerts to see the reporting. We're on it. Guys. We're well, on it. Thank you very much. <laughs>